face. Hello everyone, this is Travis and welcome to T-Town Raids. This is a special episode, Town Hall 9 vs. Town Hall 10 3 Star War episode. Um, going to jump right into it here and show you uh, some 3 star attacks for uh, Town Hall 9 vs. Town Hall 10. Alright, going to start the video right off. Go down to their number 16. An attack, uh, on, an attack from R13, number 8 versus Baikus. This is actually a uh, stoned Goho Wee Wee, and this is a, a really good plan. He's going to start over here on the right on that Eagle Artillery, uh, really exposed. Um, these aren't going to be the, the toughest bases, but uh, with, uh, with uh, low-level heroes, uh, you're not going to be able to take out a max base. It's just not going to happen. Drops a Golem in the middle for some tanking. Drops a Golem bottom left for some tanking. He's going to wall breaker into each section. Um, for anyone who's tried to three-star a Town Hall 10 uh, with 13, 15 heroes, you know uh, that is no easy task. So I uh, give it to Nate here for a really good plan. Uh, drops in, uh, spreads out his witches for some extra tanking. Uh, drops in his wi witches and wizards. Uh, just trying to create uh, a lot of tanks for that first Inferno there. He's got three heals, one freeze. And if you've tr used the level one freeze, you know that it doesn't last very long. It already ran out. Uh, his heroes are going in, hasn't had to pop the ability yet. Uh, skeleton Trap pops. Uh, he's going to go ahead and heal it up. Uh, I might have recommended a Rage, but this wasn't my attack. Uh, and he three started, so I will give him credit. Uh, he's got eight hogs here. He's going to drop them in on the left while all the uh, Inferno Towers and the center defenses are distracted. Um, and he's going to heal them up. And those hogs are actually going to go around this whole base and take out these backside defenses. Uh, uses the queen's ability, uses the king's ability. The only threat that's really, really left there is that single inferno. And with all those witches, uh, it's not going to, it's not really going to be able to handle it. Uh, drops his uh, his last heal on the hogs. He's got one hog left, but look at all those skeletons um, going around the base here. Uh, basically, what's left is couple defenses, couple hogs still up, and a lot of witches. Uh, giant Bomb goes off, take out some witches, but it's too little, too late. This base is already wrecked. Um, my credit to Nate. Um, he's got lower level heroes. Um, kind of max Town Hall 9 troops. but uh, And he just absolutely took out this Town Hall 11. Uh, not something that you see every day. Good job, Nate. Gonna move down to number 17 here. This is an attack from Eric. Uh, he's a 9.5. I think he's only got the upgraded uh, spell factory, so he's got five spells. But I'm pretty sure he still has level uh, level Town Hall 9 troops. And this is a pretty awesome attack. He's gonna drop a uh, one troop here to set off the double bomb. This is a bad base, but uh, it's been hit several times. And nobody could three start, and uh, Eric came up with this plan. 45 hogs. That's a lot of hogs. So he sends in two big trains. Uh, wants them to kind of push through this base evenly. Um, he's going to drop his his heels pretty early, uh, and he's going to freeze both of these infernos. And there's going to be so many uh, defenses, uh, or so so many hogs uh, that, that the defenses just can't handle it. They're going to push straight through this base. Goes ahead and drops the Barb King. He's going to rage him up. Drops his Archer Queen to handle the heroes. Uh, still got a ton of hogs up. Uh, both Inferno Towers goes down, drops his last heal. Uh, there's really nothing left of this base. I mean, look how quickly this base goes down. Eight through the whole, all those defenses, three Archer Towers on the left, but eight through all those uh, defenses uh, in about one minute. Uh, bomb's going to go off here on his hogs. Uh, they actually have a sliver of health left, but there's probably at least 35 hogs in there. Um, and now it's just cleanup time. So. Like I said, they, they these guys didn't fill their, their war CCs. It's not something we can help, but you still got to come up with a solid plan. Um, and at Town Hall Nine, it is not easy to take out these Town Hall Tens. You gotta you gotta come up with a plan. Uh, you gotta execute it right. And those Inferno Towers, even on a weak base, really make it difficult. Um, so, like I said, uh, my credits to Eric. A really good plan. Really good execution. Um, good job, Eric. All right, guys, and this is going to be the last attack of this special special edi special edition video. Going to move down here to uh, 
their number 20 Alec and hit by Rowan. I think Rowan's got 10, 11 heroes. So you're going to, you're going to know that if you've uh, attacked a town hall 10 with 10, 11 heroes, it is no easy task. Uh, he's going to drop three golems. Uh, this is going to be a stoned uh, hocus pocus attack or better known as mass witches drops his wizards in behind trying to create a large, uh, a lot of tanking for these uh, single single infernos. Um, drops all of his witches in. Uh, drops the jump. Drops the freeze. Uh, that level one freeze doesn't last very long, but that's all you get at Town Hall nine. He's gonna speed him up with a haste. He's got a two haste, one haste in his bag. Uh, goes ahead and drops his second haste. Second haste. Sorry, second rage. Uh, speeds all those uh, witches up. Gets a pretty nice funnel. First inferno goes down. Uh, he's trying to get them into that core. They finally start going into the core. The golems get a nice split and go down on the south and the north. Uh, going to tank real nicely for uh, his witches and his kill squad. His kill squad gets a nice push. Uh, the only damage that's really, only threat that's really left uh, are those mortars. And as you can see, the spread is so nice that these witches are actually act, actually going to overwhelm this base. Um, Still got both hero abilities. Uh, Inferno Tower is about to go down. Uh, Giant Bomb goes off on the north side. Um, only only a couple defenses left and a ton of witches left. So uh, this base is pretty much toast. Uh, goes ahead and pops his king's ability. <laughs> He's actually gets to, this base gets wrecked so badly that the uh, Archer Queen, I believe, swags her ability. But like I said, he's got a level 11 Barb King, level 10 Archer Queen, um, and absolutely wrecks this newer, uh, actually, this is a really preemie rushed Town Hall 10. But for anybody who's actually hit Town Hall 10, you know that these Witch Raids don't always go like that, and they're never easy to take down. Take away the Infernos, this base is pretty weak. Uh, the Infernos up makes it kind of tough. So, good job, Ro. All right, guys, that's it. Only three attacks to show you. Um, if you want to uh, help me uh, with my videos, uh, I encourage you to leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you liked, uh, what you didn't like, and so I can bring you the content that you want. Thanks.